Hey it's guys, Pro here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video today. We're back on Clash Royale and we're actually going to be using a very interesting deck. It is this battle deck right here. I did try to make a video on it yesterday, but it didn't go too well. The audio was kind of like not the best let's say and i was like i had a runny nose and it was just an awful experience but today we're back we're going to try and make the video again thank you to everyone who has subscribed we are on 196 subscribers we're almost on 200 hopefully we can hit that that this coming weekend that would be absolutely incredible and it'll be quite a nice milestone to hit especially at easter time so anyway we're going to open the gold chest this is the deck we're going to be using we're just going to jump into some games and we'll see how we do so here we go guys game number one right now we have the the first opponent your deck's trash it probably is well it's not i've played it a few times before so yeah we're just going to start off with a dark prince i'm just going to go all in the season has recently reset so the lower level i might face some lower level king towers for example level like 11 maybe 12 so we'll just have to see what we, we end up facing so the ewis and the bowler take my dark prince out that's expected ewis will take well go for the pekka the pekka will of course win but the the assistance from the arena tower did of course help right there so he does have a giant skeleton which is relatively interesting Pekka should hopefully tank, which she end she actually doesn't. We may as well just go with the arrow spell right now just to take the firecracker out, and that should be tower number one for us. So that should be the first tower right there. Nice it is. So what we'll do is we'll just spawn in a bomber. I don't really know why. We may as well just try and get some extra like king tower damage. And then we'll go Dark Prince for the mini Pekka right here. Dark Prince will take the Mini Pekka out. Mini Pekka will just knock the shield off the Dark Prince, which is expected. And we're looking pretty good so far. So I was really tempted just to go Pekka in the center of the base, but I don't think that would have been a good play. We may as well just allow the... Okay, I'm just going to go all in at this stage. The guy's like level 11, so hopefully we end up winning. Well, hopefully we end up 3 crowning, sorry. So we'll just go in with the graveyard right now. Pekka's making her way to the arena tower. And as soon as the king's ended, I'm going to try and get a thumbnail. So there we go. We got the image. Nice. So that guy, apparently my deck isn't trash because I ended up winning. But you're probably going superior. You're only one because your card levels are like maxed out and he's like level two or something. So yeah, here we go again. Game number two right now. This time we're against a level 12. So it should be hopefully an interesting match hopefully we end up winning so that would be greatly appreciated well just awesome indeed so he does have a wizard my dark prince is sadly on the wrong lane and i do not really have many counters for the wizard as such so we'll just allow the dark prince to do the, his own thing right there and now the e wizard is probably going to yeah the balloon the wizard okay wow so the wizard splashed my e -wiz. well of course he's going to hit the e -wiz, but he also hit the arena tower, we're going to try and arrow, come on, yeah that was a bit too late right there, sadly a little bit too late, but hey, we still get some tower damage, we'll go with the tornado right here, hopefully activate the king tower, which we did, and now this game has kind of, well, quite nicely turned around, so, well okay, we weren't really losing anyway, but you know what I mean, <laughs> so we'll go bomber at the back, I could have probably deployed it tower to the left. I don't know why I didn't. Let's just say my finger slipped. And now the bomber's going down the lane. He does have the wizard. Similar to you last time, I'm just going to go with the Dark Prince. We're just going to go graveyard as well. I expect the Inferno Tower, but we should be able to take the wizard out. He does actually have the Mega Knight as well. And now we're pretty much doomed. Yeah, so... Right, this isn't good. We're going to literally waste 7 Elixir to... Do you know what? I'm just going to take the tower damage. Yeah, that's really bad. I didn't like that at all. Yeah, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. He... Wait, what? What the... Right, hopefully he goes minion horde. Nope. Okay, awesome. Come on, get a shot. No. Right, so this isn't looking so good. We are just... <sighs> Oh my word. Right, so the Goblin Barrow is going to do its damage. We, we just have to build a push now. We have no other choice except to do this. The Inferno should expire by the time my 
like units get to where it's located and now we can just go in with this we can go in with this then we can go over here we do get a good tornado onto like skeletons right there and now we'll go into our as well the minion horde come on take it out right there good stuff tower number one we've kindly we've nicely turned this game around and he is going to take the tower there's literally no point of defending it because he's just going to take it anyway let's just be honest and the pecker actually ends up getting a shot onto the king tower and look at his king look at his king guys we're just gonna go all in wasn't really the greatest of graveyard deployments to be honest but oh well and he's got the valkyrie so not really the best of plays but his king's down to like 400 we're just going to go with the ewis right here if we don't get the three crown i'm not too bothered as long as we win, we're going to Prediction Arrow for the Minion Horde, which we end up doing right there. And we're just going to hit him with this when he wins emo. I don't know why I did, but we, we just went with it, okay? He's going to hit Sunglasses. We'll just go back with, like, the emo. I got that one from Clash with Ash's tournaments a while back. So shout out to Clash with Ash for hosting those Superstar tournaments, allowing us to get that emo for, like, the, the fourth year, I believe. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Anyway, level 13 this time around. Let's see what we can do. Make sure I'm just still recording, which I am. Awesome. And we are facing a giant. So we do have the Pekka, so it shouldn't be too difficult. All being well. I say that now, but in just a minute we'll probably end up losing. So we'll go e at the back. Just to, like, stall the giant. We'll Arrowsfell the units right there. Take the shield off the Dark Prince. And I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get the Pekka down in time. To allow the Ewis to survive. Okay, we might. Yes, yeah, so all we do. Oh my word. Pro plays. Pro plays. Right, so I'm going to see what he goes. We have a few options available. Looks like he's got the mini packer, so I'm just going to go in with the graveyard. The main packer should die, uh, survive, sorry, and kill the mini packer, which it did. Which he did right there. He's going to go with the stream and hog rider emote. We're just going to. I'm not going to emote, there's no point. And yeah, they we're looking pretty good so far, so if you're enjoying the video so far, drop a like, drop a comment, sub if you're new, if of course you're still watching at this stage. So what shall we do? We're just going to go balloon at the bridge, I know that seems very, very, very strange, but we're just going to go with it anyway. Balloon will actually end up taking those archers out, hopefully with the death damage, or they just might be on like the absolute like, edge of the border. Yeah, the radius, sorry. So we'll just go here. Bomber should take everything out, and then I don't know why I deployed two units on that side, that was a bad play. But the Ewis will go to work on the giant, and we do end up seeing a, a mini pecker, which isn't fantastic. So we're gonna lose our tower right here. I don't know what I'm doing, that was just a really poor play from me, just all together. So we do need to turn this game around. We can of course do that, and we can do that any moment now by starting here with the graveyard. So graveyard's going in, he does have the units already down, Peck is in as well. He goes with the Dark Prince, we're just going to Aris while well, take the archers out, and I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, it's not looking quite good. So we'll go Bomber, we'll go again, he goes with the Mini Pecker. Yeah, this isn't looking good. This isn't looking good at all. Right, so what's he got? He's got... I don't even know. We're just gonna go all in. Right, where are your archers at? In the graveyard. Nope. Wow, they survived. Okay, that's not good. I expect to see the giant. Okay, do your emotes, my friend. You've not won yet. We'll tornado everything away. He's got lightning spell. He does have spells, so... That makes it a lot more difficult for us. I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing. So we're just going to go here. We're going to go here. He's going to try and spell me out right now. We're going to Aro spell the archers. And we should be able to win. Which we do. Nice. Good stuff right there. So we ended up winning another win right there in in this video. So, so far, 3-0. I know some of the opponents have been lower levels. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick cut. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back with game number four in just a moment, and we'll see if we can pick up another win. All right, guys, here we go. The final battle of the video. Just adjusted my microphone right there. So here we go. Final battle of the video. We're against Team Z right now from Collectors. He's just going to wish me some good luck. So I'll return it right back to him, and maybe he knows what he's doing. We're not deploying anything as of yet. I'm just going to go in with the bomber, 
I do have the Tornado if he decides to go like Hog Rider on the other lane or something like that. But again, looks like this guy is using the Mini Pekka similar to the last opponent's. Looks like he's got the Firecracker as well. So we'll try and hit all three. Go on. Nice. Good stuff. Right, so we should take the bowler out too. The bowler should go down, which he does. Good stuff. And then he's actually got the arrows. So we'll hit with well played. Good play by him, I guess. So we'll go Ewis at the back. He's going to be spamming some emotes. So we'll just hit him with some emotes back. We're just going to go Graveyard Ewis. I know that's a very strange like combination, but we'll just give it a shot. See what we can do. He's going to go Skarmy. I don't really know why he went with the E-Dragon. That wasn't really the best of plays. Because literally the... The E Wizard hard counters the Inferno Dragon, so I don't really know what the plan there was. But the Firecracker is going to get taken out before she gets a shot off, which again is fantastic. So Firecracker does no damage right there. I'm just going to go with the Balloon. I do expect like minions or a minion horde. Nope, Inferno Tower. Okay. So Balloon will get taken out. It won't actually damage the Inferno. It nearly got a drop, but it never does. Like in that situation there. Of course we get the death damage, so not too bad. But yeah, it never will actually end up shooting, like dropping a bomb onto the, the Inferno whilst it's still alive. So we're seeing the Mini Packer right there. Mini Packer should get pretty weak. Okay, Mini Packer should get taken out in just a moment. I'm just gonna I'm not even gonna chance that right there. I just not today. And now we do see the Skarmy, so I'm going to go tornado. He goes in with the Skeleton Barrel, sorry, the <laughs> the Goblin Barrel right there. I can't even think of the card names anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Dark Prince, Balloon, then Graveyard. Okay, maybe the Graveyard was, I should have probably just gone Dark Prince, Graveyard. But now I'm just going to go, oh actually never mind, we can go Graveyard right now. That's fine. Then we can just Tornado everything. Okay. Bomber takes out the firecracker right there. He's gonna go with the oops because he knows he messed up and that's quite good uh, Wow, the bomber even got the fadeaway the bomber with the fadeaway right there. So we'll go dark prince right down here dark prince will take the Goblins out with the assistance from the e-wiz balloon just like okay. I misplaced the balloon completely And now we're just going to arrow spell weaken the tower down and now we should be able to pick up the win So dark prince isn't going to get to the arena tower we're just going to go e -Wiz. we're going to Tornado. e -Wiz actually survives a shot from the Mini Packer right there, which is rather interesting. So we'll, we're actually going to lose. We're actually going to lose. We're actually going to lose. Wow, the if he like had a Zap or if he had like a Lightning Spell or something, or just something to like stall my right hand Arena Tower, he probably would have got the win right there with the Inferno Dragon, but he didn't, so it's all good, and we end up picking up another win. So if you enjoyed the video guys, let me know what you think, subscribe to the channel if you're new, we're pushing towards 200 subscribers right now, we'll claim our 5,000 gold because I do deserve it after several wins today. So there is the deck, let me know what you think by dropping a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, Subscribe if you're new, like I did just say a second ago, we're on our way to 200 subs, so hopefully we can get there in just a day or two, that would be greatly appreciated, so thank you very much indeed. So apart from that guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, peace.